As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson. And you're in a valley right now. And there are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Personal trainer LaQuisha Taylor is suing Sharice Johnson in the amount of $1,992. Ms. Taylor claims Ms. Johnson hired her to get in shape, but quit after a few sessions and never paid her anything. You are suing uh, Ms. Johnson for $1,992, and this represents the uh, fees for personal training. Yes, that is correct. I agreed to train her for 24 sessions, uh -huh. and she, yes, that is correct. Oh, okay. And so how did you meet the plaintiff, ma'am? I met Ms. Taylor through a mutual friend. Uh -huh. uh, she had a previous hairstylist who moved away, and so she referred me for a new client, which was Ms. So Taylor. So you do hair? Yes, I do. Okay, so you were doing her hair? Yes, I was. Okay. Yes. And so how did you come to have this uh, discussion about personal training? Well, around the fourth time that she came into my shop, we were kind of like familiar with each other, right. like kind of friends. And right. she brought up how she was a personal trainer. And I told her how I was looking to get back into shape, mm -hmm. you know, because I just wanted to look good and feel good. Right. And so I thought, hey, why don't you become my trainer? Trainer. Okay. So how much do you charge for personal training? I charge... $80 per session, and that session is always one hour. Now, did you, had you been working out before? Have you ever done that, work with a trainer? I Never with a trainer. Mm -hmm. I haven't worked out in about three years, so I was trying to get back into it. Okay. But and you never worked with a personal trainer Never before. with a personal trainer. Okay. So we had an agreement then that you're going to train her. Yes. And she's going to pay you. How much was she going to pay you? Well, she was gonna. She agreed to pay for the full 24 sessions plus the late fee. Okay. So what happened the first time you went there? The first time we went was right after I we agreed to to this deal. Right. And so I met up with her at the gym, mm -hmm. and she told me that she was going to be very strict, which is what I needed because I tend right. to not fully commit to right. things. Right. Right. So what does but, that mean that you're strict? Um. So I have a background. My family were uh, they were in the military so uh -huh. I have a military background right. and it, that kind of is incorporated in my personality right. I'm like a drill sergeant right and I feel like I was pretty easy on her okay so what were you having her do the first time she came so the first time I had I, she came we right. started off with some stretches right um, and then I had her do like some squats right. to start off she right. did about two squats just regular squats just Your Honor, regular if I squats may. I did tell her before right. that I do have a hip injury or right. my, I have very weak hips. Uh -huh. so, so you told her you couldn't do squats? Well, not that I couldn't do squats, it's that I need like modifications. Right. So did you offer her some modified squat yes. exercises? So usually when I train people, I have them start off with like the, the, the dumbbells that weigh about five pounds, right. but I, I trained her without the dumbbells, and then... Right, you just told her to do squats without any weights? That was the modification? Yes, then? that was the modification to not do any squat. I mean, to not use any weights. Right. So and how many of those did you do? I did about two reps of those because my right. hips started hip hurting. Hurt. Oh, so when she told you her hip was hurting, then what happened? She told me that she had hip issues. She didn't right. say in that moment that her hips was hurting. Right. And I told her, you know, like, you, that's just an excuse. You need to keep going. Right. Like, what, did she have you do anything that you thought you could not do the first time? Besides the squats and right. other, like, type of lower region exercises? Right. No, but I also did not feel emotionally comfortable with her because she didn't make me feel like right. I was adequate enough. She kept saying that I was lazy, that I was complaining. Did you tell her she was lazy? That is part of my motivation technique. Right, so, right. I mean, it, it usually works, but she right. was just I don't so know who stubborn. that works with. I'm paying you money not to tell me that I'm lazy. 
because I'm paying you money. And I've been to many trainers, and I just could not imagine somebody saying that to me. Well, I warned her that I was going to be like a drill sergeant, right. and usually my techniques work. Right. I have testimonial with like other You clients. got somebody out here to come in here, these testimonials? I have not brought oh, a witness Okay, today. I didn't think so. <laughs> okay. So she told you you were lazy. What else did she say? She just, like, she wouldn't encourage me at all. Like, you right. know how, like, you can do it, keep pushing. Right, it was more exactly. like equipping a quitter. Good Stop trainers, whining. Good trainers do that. Yeah. They Correct. don't say, you know, you're lazy, no good. I mean, who, do, I mean, who does that? Who needs to be a battered and abused by somebody they're paying 80 bucks an hour? I mean, that's just well, how I train. Look where you are now. Coming up on Supreme Justice. Why did you call her and tell her you was done? You were done. You weren't coming back. Honestly, since I didn't really feel comfortable with her, right. I decided... She not. doesn't seem like Miss Personality. And later... During the time you were investigating, you were in the garden and you broke the statute here. Well, I was hired as an agent to my client. Right. You think that an agent acting on her behalf gives you the right to break stuff? Supreme Justice is back with the case of LaQuisha Taylor, who is suing Sharice Johnson for breach of contract. Okay, so what happened? So you go home. So after the first night, I was, of course, sore. But right. at first, I was like, you know, that's normal. It's what you do after right. you work out. Right. Second time, a little bit of the same. The third day. So the se Oh, oh, you mean your pain? Yes, the third day is when I right. had. It was when I got the pain. So did you go back to her a second time? I did go back to her a second time after. And, and, the and first then what session. happened? After the second time, it was pretty much the same, but I still had a lot of pain. But I was right. still pushing through it because right. I, like you know, I haven't worked out in a while. So I right. thought, you know, it's part of right. the process. But the third day, that's when I got injured. How and did so you injure yourself? I, it was the same, my hips. So I woke up the next morning with a bruise. Was she um, having you still do exercises with your hips? Yes, more. Um, you, do you know the double leg lifts? You mean when you, you're laying on the floor, you have to lift your butt lift up your leg. and your legs at the same time? And then put it down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Basically, oh, yeah. yes. She had you doing that? Yes. Okay, how many of those did you do? Not many. <laughs> okay. But again, it was more keep going, keep pushing, stop whining, quit complaining. So you didn't so, want to go, to, you didn't want to do this anymore. You were done yes. after session three. Yes. Well, I, after session three, I, since I was injured, I had mm -hmm. to call off work. So clients that I've had planned for months in advance, I had right. to cancel on them right. for two days. So I missed our fourth and fifth session. Why did you call her and tell her you was done? You were done. You weren't coming back. Honestly, since I didn't really feel comfortable with her. Right. I decided she doesn't not. seem like Miss Personality. Definitely. Okay. And by the sixth day, I did want to call her up and, you know, kind of apologize and be like, maybe we can work something out, like right. schedule, reschedule the two sessions I missed. But then she decided to come into my place of work and cause a scene. What did you do at her place of work? So after she wasn't showing up for the sessions, right. I decided, like, she's not calling me. I can't get in contact with right. her. I go to her shop. I try <laughs> to ask her if she can come to the side with me so that we can talk about her not coming to, like, the last couple of sessions. Right. And what happened? She didn't want to come, go to the side. So right. I, I was know, working on a client. She's right. working you were on doing a client. somebody's hair at the yes. time? And she wanted you to stop doing hair and come over and talk? Yes. So what did you do? So I just, you know, I started explaining to her, like, um, basically, you didn't show up to the last couple of sessions. Right. And, like, I was waiting for her explanation. Right. She said that because she had did my hair, um, that she would, that that should cover the sessions that she did and that she didn't want to work with me anymore. Right. That wasn't an agreement, though. If I give you it a wasn't leave. An, it wasn't an initial agreement to be like, I'm going to give do your hair to pay for the right. sessions. You just did but it because you wanted that, to do it. Well, yes, because okay, it was so a token of gratitude. Okay, so you gave her a free weave. Yes. Okay, so you can't then turn around and say, okay, well, now that was in exchange for but something. But at the same time, I was also injured. So I felt that me giving you a $450 hair installment right. on top of me being injured, injured. and not right. feeling completely comfortable did in your you service. Did you have an agreement? We had an let me, let agreement. Let me see your agreement. Here's the agreement. Right here. This is it? Yes. You, you, don't you have an agreement that you would have the waivers and everything for folks to sign in case they get injured so they don't end up suing you directly? You don't have any of that going so on? So usually, yes. Like, I do have, like, 
written agreement, but I didn't have any on me at the time that, like, if I didn't get her to sign it now, that she would back out of it. Right. So I just wrote up, like, wrote, wrote up. What you was on signed the top of this my head. Uh, contract, okay. basically saying even if I quit or whatever, no matter what, I'm gonna pay you. Well, I thought that she can get me in the shape that I yeah, wanted but you, to be. You don't know how you're going to get along with anybody. That you don't true. know if you're going to like a doctor that you're going to see. You don't know if you're going to like a, a therapist that you're going to go see. You don't just get, you know, say, I'm going to pay you no matter what. That's how come I've had so many trainers. Yes, this is why, which is why I decided not to counter sue her and thought that the hair would be enough. Yeah, but the hair wasn't $1,900. No. Well, what did you learn from this? Because I hope you learned something from this. Tell me what you learned. Number one. Do my research on trainers. Okay, number two, get a real sign a real contract, not a paper one. All right, and number three, read over the contract. Don't agree to pay Don't anybody to pay up front for a series of services or treatments until you've tried them out, because you're gonna pay the nineteen hundred and twenty dollars because you signed an agreement, and you also agreed to say to pay for. Uh, Late fees or missed sessions, that penalty, I'm not going to do that. I'm not giving you that because she told you I'm not coming back. So you could have made other plans, put other people in place. My question was, did you ever replace her with anybody else? No, and that's why I'm very upset. That's why when I went to her shop, I was upset because <laughs> I set those slots up for her right. specifically. And it's very hard to find new clients. Right. So how many clients do you have? Right now, I have none. 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 No, not surprised. <laughs> not surprised at all. Yeah, me neither. All right, I'm ready to rule judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,920. Good luck to you both. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $1,920. Oh, there's no hard feelings, but I'll be expecting my money. The only hard feelings I have are my pain, and I will not be returning. Coming up. Had you ever seen this lady in the 30 days that you had been following him around? One of the times they met with for lunch. Uh huh. You know, he was very good at covering up his tracks. Right. Well, you, you would have to have tracks to cover. Dale Ripper is suing private investigator Harvey Stubbs in the amount of $7,000. Mr. Ripper claims Mr. Stubbs broke a valuable statue while spying on him and owes him for the damage. All right, Mr. Uh, Ripper, you're suing Mr. Stubbs for $7,000 representing a broken statue? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay, and you, sir, I read your pleadings, are a private investigator? That's right. Okay, and how long have you been a private investigator? About 10 years, Your Honor. 10 years, and were you investigating the plaintiff? That's correct. Okay, who hired you? Alicia, Alicia Ripper. Okay, is she your wife? Ex-wife. No, She's your no. ex-wife. Why would your ex-wife hire a private investigator? She was under the suspicion that I was cheating, having an affair. So were you cheating? I wasn't. You were never cheated on your wife? You were always never faithful? Never cheated on my wife. Okay, so tell me how it was. You ended up on his property. That's correct. Okay, tell me how that all happened. What was going on at that time? Absolutely. So um, I had one of my uh, friends, Janice, one of my coworkers, who's been working with, with me at the firm. I've known her for about three, four years or so. Right. Um, I was reviewing some plans for uh, another project that I was working on, and she's worked with me uh, on a number of occasions. Uh -huh. So I invited her to my house to look over some of the details. Where was your wife at the time? Uh, my wife was on uh, vacation. She was gone for the week. Um, she so did she... you ever invite women over to the house before when your wife was not home? Correct. Okay. So uh, you were following, uh, you were um, investigating him at that time, is that right? That's true. So how long were you investigating him? Mm, I'd say about a month. Where were you when the friend came over? I was in my car at that point. Okay. When she, came, when she arrived, I was in my car outside. Right. Had you ever seen this lady in the 30 days that you had been following him around? One of the times they met with for lunch. Uh-huh. You ever saw anything intimate? They have not been intimate. Um, you know, he was very good at covering up his tracks. Right. Well, you, you would have to have tracks to cover. Coming up. I was an agent acting on her behalf. Right. You think that an agent acting on her behalf gives you the right to break stuff? Supreme Justice is back with the case of Dale Ripper, who is suing Harvey Stubbs for property damage. So what indication was there that he was not being faithful to his wife? 
Well, most of the lunches that he went on with his coworkers, most of them were very beautiful women. Right. Uh, not a lot of men. Well, he can't there help has, it if they're beautiful. I've had men. Well, he can't. Too. You can't help it if they were a bunch of ugly women. Would have made it all right. He can't help it if they're beautiful women. What else? Well, we didn't uncover much. Right. It, just what, that he was with the women. Just that he was having lunch with women, but no hugs, kisses, squeezes. And anything like that. I have proof. What proof do you have? Well, I have Show pictures. Show me proof. I have pictures. Let me see some pictures. This picture that you did hand me here, this is your proof picture? Yes, they were kissing, Your Honor. Oh. No, that's no. Her face is too far away from him. Her head is too far from his head to be a kiss. It actually, you don't know what they were doing here. You have no idea. Maybe they were kissing. <laughs> Maybe he was getting something out of her eye. Right? So, during the time you were investigating, you were in the garden and you broke the statute here. Is that right? That's true. Okay. And why don't you think that you're responsible for the $7,000 that that cost? Well, I was hired as an agent to my client, right. Alicia. Right. Um, she... So you're saying you weren't trespassing? Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. It doesn't matter whether you, even if you were invited guest, if you were invited guest to the house, you think that if you were clumsy around in the garden and broke a statute, you don't roll for it because you were invited there? No, it's under contract. What's under contract? Uh, that I was, I was an agent acting on her behalf. Right. You think that an agent acting on her behalf gives you the right to break stuff? Well, it's under contract that any expenses that happen uh -huh. that, you know, accidental or otherwise. Right, that she will be, be responsible. Okay, well that. then you need to should have brought her in as a party. Mm -hmm. Because as far as this court is concerned, whether you were trespassing or whether you were invited, that it you were the direct cause, because you were sneaking behind here trying to capture this. And you broke a $7,000 statue. So I'm ready to roll. Judgment for the plaintiff. In the amount of $7,000. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $7,000. You got what you deserved. Okay, you had no business sneaking around my property like that. I guess I will have to take that up with your ex-wife.